What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Joseph, and in today's video we're gonna be doing a little bit of myth busting. So I saw online a video of a guy that was able to start a push to start car without the key fob anywhere near the car. And um, he tells you in the video how to do it. There's a certain sequence of buttons that you have to press inside the car, and supposedly it's supposed to turn on by itself. Um, we're gonna test that theory and see what happens. In today's video I've got my uh, 2020 Jeep Gladiator. It is a push to start, so we're gonna test it out and see what happens. All right, so my car's over here. I'm going to go ahead and put the key fob for it a good 50 feet away and see what happens. So we'll leave that there and we'll go to the car and see if this works. This will be kind of crazy if it starts. I'll kind of freak out, but let's see what happens. All right, you guys. So now we're in the Jeep and um, as you can see, there is no key fob in the car. If I try and start it as normal, it says key fob not detected. So now I'm going to wait a second and then try these uh, three steps that we're supposed to do. I will link them in the description box below if you guys want to go ahead and try it and see what happens with your car. Um, try it out and see if it works. Okay, so the first step is to turn on the hazards for the car. Got those going. Next is to click the radio button twice. And then hold the windows down for three seconds. Okay, nothing happened. Let's try that again. Let me open and close the door. Maybe that'll reset something. Okay, so hazards on. Radio button twice. Windows up for three seconds. Still nothing. All right, I'm going to try one more time, but this time I'm going to have my foot on the brake. Maybe that'll make a difference. Turn these off. Open the door for a second. Okay, so hazards on, radio button twice, foot on the brake, windows up for three seconds. Ah, nothing. Okay, I'm going to try one last thing and uh, see if it works. Instead of windows up, I'm going to try and putting them down and see if that uh, makes a difference. Let's try that and uh, bust this myth. Okay, so hazards on, radio button twice, windows down for three seconds. Still nothing. I guess it is just a myth because I just tried it with my push to start car and it didn't work. Um, I will leave the instructions in the description box below, so go ahead and try it in your car and let me know if it works. Um, I would be curious to know if it does, so comment that down below. Also guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm going to be dropping a lot more content on the Jeep Gladiator, as some people have been asking. Um, I actually had the doors off the past few days. I live here in Chicago and it was really nice out. And uh, we took off the both driver, driver and passenger door as well as both passengers uh, in the back. We took off the two front roof panels. I didn't take this part off. This is a one big back shell, and uh, it was kind of a ton of work, and I didn't have time to do it, um, so I didn't take that off. But I did have all the doors off as well as the roof, and I really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more.